Johnny E. Wilson is a 1961 graduate of Lorraine High School who has the distinction of being a retired United States Army four-star general. Born in Louisiana, Wilson was raised in Lorraine and graduated from Lorraine High School in 1961. Following graduation, he entered the Army as an enlisted soldier. He was able to earn the rank of Staff Sergeant before attending Officer Candidate School in 1967. Following OCS, he earned a BS degree in Business Administration from the University of Nebraska at Omaha and a Master of Science degree in Logistics from Florida Institute of Technology. General Wilson's long and decorated legal career, including positions as Deputy Chief for Logistics, Chief of Staff, U.S. Army Material Command, Deputy Commanding General, 21st Area Theater Command, and culminated as being the Commanding General, U.S. Army. He is recipient of the Army Distinguished Service Medal with Oak Leaf Cluster, Legion of Merit, Bronze Star with two Oak Leaf Clusters, Meritorious Service Medal, Army Commendation Medal, Special Forces Tab. General Wilson retired from the United States Army on April 26, 1999. Lorraine Schools has acknowledged and honored General Wilson for his military contributions by naming one of its schools after him. Please welcome General Johnny E. Wilson to the Lorraine Schools Alumni Association Distinguished Alumni Hall of Fame. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> let me, let me, uh, let me say to Mr. Peterson and his team of outstanding individuals, I too thank you for an outstanding event and uh, wish all of them well. Matter of fact, what about asking your people to stand again? <laughs> you see, uh, I'm deeply honored and grateful standing here accepting this distinguished award on behalf of the many people who are just as deserving. For me, I know that's absolutely correct. And I would say, too, as you heard the earlier speakers, each of them spoke about the people who were responsible for getting them here. You see, there's an African-American proverb that says it takes a village to raise a child. In my case, there were probably many villages. As a result, this award is for them. So consequently, I have many to thank. Accordingly, I thank my biological family, 11 brothers and sisters, and our parents worked two and three jobs, depending upon the season, and so on. They always, we didn't have much, and I was happy to hear the people coming from South Lorraine. But in our case, we had each other. And throughout the years, they have always been in support of me, whether I was in combat in Vietnam and at one point in time, there were two of us brothers in Vietnam at the same time. So you can imagine what my mother went through during that time. Also like to thank Mount Zion Baptist Church, where I was baptized in 1958. I'd also like to thank the people who resided in Fulton Homes projects during that time. And I can't say enough about the outstanding teachers who taught at Lincoln Elementary, Whittier Junior High, and of course Lorraine High during my time for ensuring that I possessed the basic requisite skills to compete. And as most of you know and have heard, I joined the Army at the age of 17 right out of high school with the intent to spend four years. However, after moving 29 times in 38 years, hell in the kids said, that's enough. 
<laughs> so we had to bring this military journey to an end. And I've often said that there are two decisions I would never regret. One, joining the Army, but most importantly, marrying Helen McGee, who happens to be a Illyria High alum, <laughs> the rock of our family, my strongest supporter, and my most constructive critic, whom I love dearly. And you see, she always found a way to maintain the appropriate level of humility in our family. And she had a unique way of doing that. And one of the examples I use when I meet some of the military families and we speak about the military really being a huge family spread throughout the world and how we always look out for each other. So years ago when Mayor Aleko was here, he had me here in Lorraine for a little ceremony. So at the end of the ceremony, we drove out of town and stopped on Route 57 at this gas station. He too was a member of Elyria High. But he came out to the car and I rolled the window down. He didn't say hi to me, he said hello to Helen. But when he put the gas in the automobile, I started not to play the tur pay the turkey, but you know, being an officer and a gentleman, <laughs> I paid up. So as we drove off, I looked at Helen and I said, look, if you'd have married old Jones, you'd be married to the gas station attendant. She said, no, you got it wrong because if I'd have married him, he'd be the general and you'd be pumping that gas. <laughs> so, so, so I'm always reminded <laughs> that there's a strong woman behind all of us. <laughs> so uh, let me say once again, thanks to the committee and thanks to Lorraine, because it's really been tremendous. And when they named the middle school, I had promised the students I would always come back and we've been back every year except for one. So let me leave a message with the students who are with us. And that is students make every day a learning day. Strive to be the best. Believe in yourself and know that you have the capacity to be great. So to each of you, I say thank you very much and God bless. Now one small thing, since there are a lot of judges and lawyers here, there's a typo. It says Wilson's legal career oh, and yeah. <laughs> meant logistics. I don't want them to call me on a legal matter. <laughs> so, thank you all and God bless. Thank you.